but uh but yeah it's, it's, so looking at uh some of the stuff we also talked about last week i think we talked about the dxy absolutely and yeah. the dxy this is the we, index for the us dollar so uh as the dxy yes. goes up the strength uh or the value of the dollar uh, cash asset increases is basically and, the and which, short version of this so so yeah so so to recap like the once the dollar whenever the dollar goes up stocks and crypto tend to move in the opposite direction so they drop and last week we we saw this downward channel and we saw last week sort of close with the bounce at the bottom of the channel and yeah. our guess was that this uh this week the the dxy would go up and and that's exactly what happened so just to zoom in a little closer we we got this like sort of tweezer bottom yep right at, right on the channel which is and a little then, bit of a bullish indication we mentioned last video too it's like the tweezer bottom indicates we might be yeah. getting this bounce and here we are and there's the bounce <laughs> and there's the bounce and yeah. actually the spy and do 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 was chopping around and it did drop yeah we and we did see like the same thing with crypto so so i don't know the coming week uh would dxy go i can see a resistance here this is the weekly chart yeah. around like 102 but we don't know if it's gonna top out there and fall back down or it's gonna push all the way to the top of the channel yeah and i think if, if, if it, it pushes that, then i feel like the the equity markets like the uh, crypto market and the uh, the stock indexes will likely cool off a little further than they have already yeah it'll, it'll, it'll drop or or at least like chop around yeah at the very around. least flat yeah. line definitely not continue the run and you know uh if you've been trading like the nasdaq and the uh, s p 500 indexes they have been having quite the run lately like we're coming up kind of retracing a lot of the sell-off that we've been seeing it during the bear market and uh, basically a shift kind of into a much more bullish sentiment. And that yeah. sentiment has really left a lot of the institutional traders behind at the moment. Uh, a lot of people are still very much like, oh, bear market is still, you know, is still in recession, like being canceled hasn't really uh, set it in for a lot of the institutional money. And so that's where a lot of these short squeeze opportunities are, are coming from is because during the bear market, a lot of these big players, these big, big hedge funds, uh, you know, were short on the market and they still are short. And then now that the market's starting to turn around, you have a lot of these shares such like uh, Opera, like the uh, Oprah, I keep saying Opera, uh, Oprah, like the browser one we just had up or like the Carvana or like, you know, I think Elf Beauty Products had like a pretty decent squeeze recently. Like there's been quite yeah, a few. Yeah, we, we wrote that too. Uh, which yeah. is great. That one's still potentially like, got some juice left as well. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. But you definitely, and, you see a lot of those opportunities come from the fact that institutional money is still very much in this bear market mood. Although, you know, we're seeing with our trading buddy indicator, the bear market mood hasn't really been, uh, you know, driving the market for several months at this point. We're looking at the weekly chart here of the uh, S&P 500 index, the, the SPY. And, uh, yeah. So as these markets have been rebounding, you know, these short sold assets need to cover. And as you know, they need to cover at a higher price, uh, retail investors and, uh, and obviously uh, bullish traders are you know, buying up the shares to make the price more expensive for the short sellers to cover what they already have to cover. And that causes these short squeezes. And so we're seeing quite a few right. of the short squeezes because there's still quite a bit of institutional money on the on the bear train here. Uh, still kind of like yeah they are either like sidelined or they're completely in denial but we we've been like long ever since we saw this bull print or the bull signal with the green band yeah with our trading buddy indicator on the s p 500 we got this signal way yeah. back in april yeah it's been a while and of course the markets have just been on a tear yeah ever since you know and and so we just We've just been like playing the trend and it's worked out really well with the indicator. But uh, like Max was saying, there's a lot of people, big institutions who are still in denial or sideline. Yeah. So, you know, and 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 yeah, and, and also FOMC happened, right? Yeah. Uh, this week. Just like and we I expected. Think the market, yeah, the market consensus was 0.25 percentage 
It's what, uh, we, it's what we got. So it didn't really make a huge impact on, at least right now we're looking at that chart. You don't really see like a big, you know, holy shit, sell everything because the, the interest rates are coming yeah, up. Yeah, it actually closed in the green. Yes, yeah, still kind of bullish closes here. And so a lot of that was kind of we were uh, talking about that last video too, where it's like the market mm -hmm. is expecting this. So it could be that this is priced in. And that's almost what it looks yeah. like right now. It does seem to be a little priced in. Um, but I am still very much interested in seeing how the DXY continues to play out the next week, because like mm -hmm. you can see this tear is quite, you know, it's it's been running for up for quite a while and it should be yeah. getting a little bit and low on steam here, too. And yeah, uh, because it's like it's very it's approaching close to its like last all time high. So big resistance. It's going to take levels. a little bit of effort to like, you know, clear this section so i wouldn't be surprised if we like cool off a little bit or yeah. we just chop around which we yeah. said in our last video too so yeah so, so but, keeping a little bit of a an eye on that as far as like not necessarily expecting the market to run aggressively like it has been over the last mm -hmm. few months uh, but you know keeping an eye on seeing it cool down and again you know we have that strength band as part of the indicator if we do start mm -hmm. to sell off, I, I want to see that strength band be the bouncing board where the price, you know, stays above to keep my yeah, bullish so, sentiment long term. Because ultimately, yeah. So if we, yeah, if if we see like, you know, this was back, you know, in twenty twenty, like, you know, price just kept going up, but then with each pullback it did the band did act as support yeah exactly and, and that's how we knew that the trend see, was still not invalidated longer term right so it was like you could still like buy the dip you know yeah and then when it flipped a bear with the red band you can see price actually keeps getting rejected yeah and that's when and, you don't want to be buying so, the dip anymore that's when you dip cha anymore, change exactly. to a hedge strategy you want to wait wait for this turn of the market maybe even so, set some bottom like targets you know see where you believe the market will and then like start entering there even before you know like even before right. a market trend flip but at least you'll know that we are going to be pushing low and you can be ready for exactly. it exactly but yeah so so i think like so it'll, it'll depend on the on the dollar so if the dollar does drop from here and it doesn't like push up back up and if it somehow like drops and then if it also loses the channel then I think you can see definitely the SPY, the S&P 500 and the QQQ, uh, you know, possibly like then make new highs, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then you can uh, see so another, I think like highs on the DXY too. Once we see uh, new highs in these indexes too, then you can see some, you know, you'll be in uncharted ter territory at that point and you can see very, <laughs> yeah. very aggressive moves again. Very, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be meme time again. You'll, you'll see the, yeah, that's right. Stonks go up. Stonks they only, only go, go up. up. Yeah, exactly.